is one of the UK's most prolific Adele tribute acts. But when the Rolling in the Deep singer shed a whopping seven stone, Maria Harriet was worried that she wouldn't find work again. Yes, however, after losing an astonishing eight stone and 12 pounds herself, Maria says uh, it's far from her career ending. Adele actually saved her life. Yeah. And uh, Maria joins us today. Now, this is, um, this is quite the story, actually, and I suppose spending your life and, I suppose, your career being a tribute of one person, you, you look closely to what they're doing in life, right? And not yeah. just her professional career and her being a singer. How did you feel when Ad Adele did lose that weight? Because she looked, you know, she looks absolutely incredible. And, you know, what a great journey she has had. But did you then feel pressure yourself to go, OK, this, this is now a big change for me? Yeah, definitely. I definitely... Seeing that first picture of Adele when she lost that, you know, huge amount of weight, was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do now, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I've got to mm -hmm. get on this journey and get this weight off. But did you think that immediately? Did you think, oh, no, my, my, my career's over now? Or did you think, I can always be Big Adele? Both, actually. Yeah. Like your Elvis tributes, you've got the bigger Elvises and the smaller I'm the bigger Elvis. Elvis. I like Elvis there like you Vegas. Go. <laughs> yeah, I, I... But, um, but, no, I was already... I'd already had one weight loss surgery. Um, I had a gastric band that right. um, had gone a bit wrong, so oh, no. I was already going to be having the gastric bypass, but seeing the pictures of Adele just sped up my process. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you see, there's a lot of people going to be very interested in this because they'll be considering the same thing. So... You had one sort of operation, didn't work ago. for you, yeah? It did work initially, but then what? the longer it was there, it, I started to have complications. So oh, what no. was plan B? What did you do this time around? So, this, so I had the gastric band removed and I gained four stone in six months. So I was going back to where I was at yes. my right. heaviest. So um, the gastric bypass was, was the um, operation of choice. So what is a gastric bypass? Gastric bypass is where they make your stomach smaller they staple part of your stomach to create a smaller pouch and they take away some of your intestines and yes. they reroute them mm -hmm. and they bypass your duodenum. And there's no going back? Not as far as I know. I have heard of some people having a revision, but I'm not, mm -hmm. not as far as I know. And what, what's, what's the preparation like for a surgery like that? So you have to go on a specific um, diet mm -hmm. pre surgery so I had to go on a liver reduction diet wow. and each surgeon has their own choice of um of diet to mm -hmm. follow mine was a milk diet so for 14 days I practically lived on milk and and milk alone milk and a mug of bovril yeah. Look, we're not pretending this is easy no, but um for not, you you know you'd looked not. at all the options and yeah, you thought I'd done I, all the diet yeah. like and it know. wasn't just a question I mean okay Adele lost all that weight which was fantastic mm -hmm. But you had to do this to save your own life, really. For my, myself, yeah. yeah. At my heaviest, you know, when I was... It, you've said I've lost eight stone 11. That's from my heaviest 15 years ago. But, and I knew that it would be so easy to get back up to that and some. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, yeah, it, it definitely has saved my life. I've still got a couple of stone to lose. So. Mm. Is it easy being you now? You know, I mean... I'm oh, life is easier. Really? Definitely. Yeah. But what about, you know, you sit down to me, have you to think about everything you put in your mouth? Um, not everything. The operation works to a certain extent that quantity-wise, you can't eat large quantities, but you can still eat the rubbish. So you can still eat biscuits, crisps. Chocolate. Right. So but do you feel normal? Do you feel happy I with I feel normal. That's the, that's the word, and it's not a word that you... you want to use all the time, but I yeah. feel normal. When I go out, I don't have to worry about the arms of the chair, am I going to fit in that chair, you know? And right. you're constantly yeah. thinking no, I about your next I didn't mean normal situation. from the point of view of, of what would be perceived as size. Oh, I, meant, I meant normal in terms of medically normal. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you feel oh, as if I feel you're normal. going to rush to the loo or you're going to be ill? No. Or... If, if or is there a period of time where you might feel... I suppose there's yeah. a lot of settling in, I imagine. Yeah, in the early days, if you eat... Um, sugar, you can get a process called dumping syndrome where you have hot flushes and you have to lie down, you have to sleep. Sometimes it comes out Gosh, the other God, way. God. So that, right. that's quite major. And if you eat too much fat, yes. that can affect 
uh -huh. you know. Yeah. But, but yours has been an amazing journey and you're on social media, you're on Facebook and you have a large following mm. of people who you've inspired. Yeah. You've inspired in, in this, this certain way. But music still plays such a big part in your life. It does. And you can be any Adele now at any stage yeah. that, yes. that, that you I'm want still to trans do. transforming, trans Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I don't wish to put any pressure on you, but, you know, I'm a bit of a singer myself. <laughs> and Rochelle has done a bit in her time, A little bit, tiny, little tiny bit. Little bit. bit Not as much as you. Not, but, stop <laughs> it. but anyway, I could be Big Elvis to your little Michelle. OK. Uh, or Rochelle, or Adele even, <laughs> sorry. Michelle, Adele, um, Rochelle. What are you going to sing? <laughs> Has to be someone like you, because what a surprise to get you today. I thought I had Alison when they said it's Eamon. Oh, oh, my crush. I've seen the one. Um, and no roof, so. It's a greater, uh, no, no roof. No, so She's really out of the way as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, you can't I? Well, I won't get in the way. I'll just sit back here <laughs> and you two can she go. Doesn't, there isn't any duets, otherwise we could have had a little bit of a yeah. can't we? <laughs> oh, can so you it's someone, little... someone like you. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. I heard that you're settled down, that you found a girl and you're Married now, I heard that your dreams came true. Guess she gave you things I didn't give to you. Oh, oh. oh. The nerve. <laughs> thank you, Maria was, Harriet. Thank you very so much. Nice. Thank so you for lovely. having me. You got really right. serenaded there. That Eamon, was lovely. Didn't you? It was really, really lovely. I'm hoping that my story does inspire other people that have been where I've been and. Uh, to, to look at all avenues, I'm not being an advocate for weight loss surgery because it's not for everybody, but people can see my story and be inspired yeah. and know that I've been where they've been. And... Well, you absolutely will. And like you said, you've got to do what's right for you yeah, and exactly. that is what works for you. Yeah. So. Well, well, continued well success um, yeah. with your health thank you and with much. your career as well. Thank you yeah. for having me. And thank no, you thank for you. the uh, serenade. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>